we're really at the beginning of developing a sustainability strategy that's formal um, and has targets and clear metrics in place. But one of the reasons to date we've been associated with being a brand that's more community focused and sustainability focused is simply because the brand's ethos is really about doing things in the right way. Um, it's a small, friendly retailer and over the years has done many fantastic initiatives and has applied great sourcing and kind of production principles in the way that we, we work with suppliers. So here's a selection of the things we do from the famous um, Dubai Cycle Challenge, which takes place every year to working with local producers to enhance the health properties of some of our produce, such as our mushrooms, having a UAE farmers club where we brought together some of the local producers here to help them be more stocked on our shelves and help bring those produce um, and products to local customers here. Um, and a couple of years ago, excitingly, we actually worked with WWF to trial a plastic bag charge with our sister company Waitrose and um, to see how that would be uh, taken by the market. And actually very, very encouraging results. We saw that 60% of the people who interacted with the trial thought that we were doing the right thing as a company. Um, and that has led uh, to us actually going to implement that um, rollout into uh, our sister company Waitrose first, take those learnings and look to how we can roll out to Spinney's. It's been a challenging time to, um, to do that with COVID. Of course, we've had to take advice um, from the government that we should continue using plastic bags to reduce the spread of infection. We're at the start of a sustainability journey to really formalize this and turn um, what we've already got and build on that into um, a formal strategy with targets around carbon emissions, food waste, energy, and so on. And what we've been doing, just to share with you really, um, some of the thinking and the work that we've done so far on this in a very short time, is we've been mapping some of the challenges that are here locally um, in the UAE. And because we're a small retailer, we're very aware that our impact is probably likely to be with local food producers and suppliers and communities. However, we're very aware of our link into the global food system due to the fact that here we import 90% of our food. Um, so one of our one of our goals here at Spinney's is actually to help with the, the kind of government goal to increase food security and food resilience here in the UAE. We're hearing um, sustainability kind of be reframed as this idea of resilience. This is the way I'm, I'm hearing businesses um, globally now talking about the sort of concept of long-term sustainability for a business, but also for individuals and for communities and for production and, and for, uh, for farmers and, and everyone across the, the value chain. And I think what's happening is now we're really realizing that along with all of the, the knowledge we've been gaining over previous years and, and the awareness of the challenges, um, that actually being um, focusing on sustainability and investing in that does actually lead to greater success for businesses um, and longer term value creation. We really want to take a collaborative and participatory approach to how we, how we inform what we do on our journey to becoming a more sustainable business. Um, I think a really good example of this in food systems is, you know, when we when we listen to what one particular actor in society is saying about a challenge, we tend to get to a politics of blame situation where we think, you know, we, we should be assigning responsibility to consumers or to the government or to business, and it's just actually becomes really unhelpful because, in fact, you know, we know, for example, with beef, which is very demonised, as Lee was talking about plastics, beef is, is currently being demonised, and actually there is a sustainable way of consuming and producing beef.